What's up, guys? I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or not, obviously, but if you do, you know that I am starting prep for real today, for real, to, for real, and I'm fucking pumped because this is what I've been waiting for. Hold on while I adjust my camera. All right, this is what I've been waiting for. You guys know I've been complaining about how fucking easy bodybuilding is, right? That's because I've been in the fucking off season, right? And all I have to do is train once a day and eat as much as I want, and that's fucking easy. But now it's time for prep which means, it means cardio five times a week, every day except for leg days. What I'm doing for cardio, I'll, t I'll talk about that later. Uh, means cardio every day, means training six days a week. It means dieting, right? We've cut a thousand calories already. Uh, it means get more serious with the supplements, obviously. All these things though are gonna translate into huge fucking gains and I'm so excited, I'm gonna look different, right? Like, I'm not gonna say I'm look amazing, but compared to my past, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna look amazing. I had the chance to hang out with uh, John in person over the weekend at the Nutrition Corners Nut Bash in Virginia Beach where Granite Supplements is launching and we had some good chats. We talked about, you know, how we're just getting started really. And, and that's what it feels like and I'm really pumped for that. So, as you guys know, I'm a huge believer in doing what works for you. So I'm also going to tell you how I'm making some adjustments to the program John gave me. And John is well aware of this. I'm not doing anything without my coach's approval. Uh, but a few adjustments, you know, we're talking minor stuff. Stuff that, for example, right? Today is a back day. Um, Ace, I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, so today's a back day, right? And so rack pulls are on the program. Well, my shoulder's been jacked the fuck up uh, for uh, two weeks now and putting it in a supinated position, or a pronated position, I'm sorry, rather under load, really stresses the hell out of it uh, because those rotator cuff muscles are getting strained. So instead, I'll be doing trap bar deadlifts with a wide grip, right? So still putting in and focusing on the hinging. I'll make a video about this, but basically the idea is that I'm gonna put emphasis on those lats with a deadlift variation that's not gonna put my shoulder in a compromised position. So things like this are the changes I'm gonna be making. Uh, another deal with supplements, I'll talk about that in a second. So cardio, training, supplements. Ace had a question, he wanted to know, I was training four days a week as a powerlifter. That's correct. I tried to bump it up to two on one off and I ended up getting that really bad in knee tendonitis. One of the things that I'm realizing is that the challenge of bodybuilding training is not the, the, not the individual unit of the workout. With powerlifting, in my opinion, every single fucking workout matters. And if you're not making some uh, quantitative, not quantitative, but some substantial or uh, tangible improvement every session, that's kind of a wasted session. You should have rested a little bit more. With bodybuilding, because of the emphasis on training volume, uh, it's spread out more. Right, And so you have to look at, for me, what I'm doing is managing fatigue over the course of a microcycle. So I'm looking at, well, actually a mesocycle. So I'm looking at uh, starting out with, uh, I'm sorry, I got another question. I got a little distracted. Uh, I'm looking at starting out, okay, can I manage my training volume over the course of a given week, right? And if you know some of John's programs, then you know that he's... Um, He's big on doing pump workouts to help with that, and that, that'll be one of the things that I use for that. And then managing that fatigue over the course of a mesocycle. So we're breaking this prep up into two mesocycles. We're doing the first mesocycle is going to be leading up to my first show, is qualifying for North Americans, and the second mesocycle leading up to North Americans. So making sure that within each of those blocks, which will be four to six weeks each, that we can, can manage my fatigue appropriately. It's, it's different, it's cool, it's cool. And I, I think that if more bodybuilders, or more powerlifters tried bodybuilding, there'd be a lot more training theory in general for both sides. So that's gonna be one of my goals here. Someone asked a question about prepping for tribute. I will not be a tribute. I'm very sad about this. Uh, and okay, related question, am I returning to powerlifting? Here's the deal, guys. Um, when I had to drop out of the US Open, it was mentally devastating. And the truth is I'm a little too ashamed to share with y'all just how bad it was for my mental state of health. And it's because powerlifting means a hell of a lot to me, right? A hell of a lot. And and I love it and it makes me feel alive. And so I get in the moment, right? And I, I end up overreaching, get hurt. So I'm treating this bodybuilding stage like mental rehab, where my goal is to separate myself, build a little bit more patience, separate myself from the sport of powerlifting for a little bit, give my body and mind time to heal from I don't want to use the word trauma. It's, you know, people go through a lot more trauma than knee tendonitis, right? But it was a tough experience for me. And so I'm trying to give myself a break from that. 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say I'm done with powerlifting. <laughs> like, I'd be lying to myself, right? I love powerlifting. Yeah, so yes, I will be making a return. 99.9% .9 sure it'll be 198. Um, but when that will be, I don't know. I, I need to give myself time until I feel totally healed uh, physically, which I'm still a little anxious about the knee, to tell you the truth. And, because it's only been six weeks. And uh, mentally, that I'm confident that I can stand the mental strain of meat prep. So that's why the, the bodybuilding prep is so serious right now. Um, let's see. So we've touched on diet, training, and um, diet, training, and cardio, right? So uh, I'm going to get into each of these topics in a little bit more detail because remember, thank you, um, I'm going to be doing these daily, right? Talking about the changes that we're making and, and such. But I do want to give you guys, at least in this first one, an overview of where we're at. So cardio is walking, just any pace, fasted, first thing in the morning. It's uh, 40 minutes right now, which for me sucks. My knees hurt so bad. Um, and that's it, all right? So we got the 40 minutes of cardio first thing in the morning. That's every day except for leg day, so that's five days a week. Because yes, I am, uh, I am, I'm trying to see these questions here. I am uh, doing a push-pull leg split. Um, do you think if you have multiple injuries in one weight class, is worth it to go up a class? Yes, I do. Mentally, that's tough to do. Um, but yes, I do think it's worth it. The bigger you are, the more... <laughs> I'll be honest with you. The fatter you are, the less your joints hurt. That's what it comes down to. Um, my knees, I had very bad to I was training for the US Open. I tried to increase my frequency. I was pulling conventional and sumo and squatting in sleeves and wraps, and that was too much for them. Uh, I almost made it... I, had a couple weeks left in prep. It was going fucking fantastic. I'm very disappointed. Um, so then training, right? So we want to talk about training. Uh, Push-pull legs, what I'm doing is a modified version of Odin Force, with, which is John's newest program. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's pretty tight. Uh, I will be sharing the modifications I'm going to make, but I can't tell you guys quite all the details, right? Because it is John's program, and I can't give that information away for free. But I'll try to give as much as I can. Uh, so, for example, today is going to be a heavy back day. I'm going to warm up. I'm going to do some, uh, oh, um, chest-supported dumbbell rows to warm up. Then we've got the trap bar deadlifts, which I mentioned earlier. And then we have uh, some pumping exercises. We're going to do banded chins. And I believe the other movement uh, is a row, a meadows row. And then we'll finish up with some, some stretching and some biceps. Um, and then I'll... I'll get the supplements on a on another one. How to get how to get to big legs? Um, I have genetics where my legs will grow if I step out of bed in the morning. So I can't. I'm the wrong person to ask. You want to ask somebody with shitty legs who's really brought them up. And if you know anybody uh, with shitty triceps who's really brought them up, tell me so that I can figure that out. Beard gains make more. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I am becoming Odin. Thank you. Um, I am very sad that I will have to shave this for the for the show, but I'm going to do that because I think it's it's respectful to, to come in appearing the way that's expected. Um, by the way, I do use uh, Buffalo Beard Company products uh, from, if you guys don't know, they're produced by Luigi Fiani, I think I'm saying that right, uh, who's a, a very good powerlifter on his own. Uh, it's excellent products and they're supporting tribute. So please, 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 if you guys need beer products, please support them. I think that's, uh, that's a really good company to, to back. Um, what I would like to ask you guys in the meantime, uh, so remember, we're doing these daily for the next 10 weeks, so you guys have 70 of these videos to ask any questions you have, uh, to give me feedback on what's helpful, what's not, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. I know, I know the drugs are going to come up a lot. That's fine. I'll, I'll talk about them. I think you guys put a little too much emphasis on them, but, but we can do that as well. Um, I also think I'll probably have some cool daily promos, uh, you know, starting... Actually, we can start today. I'll post that later today uh, on this video description. So make sure to check back and you guys can uh, get some cool deal every day. And I think that'll just be a way to at least make sure you guys watch a little bit. Um, questions, obviously great. Any questions you have that I see that I missed today, I'll go back and I'll answer in tomorrow's. Um, honestly, so far, you know, we are starting prep. It's not that hard, right? So we've dropped a thousand calories. Most amount of reps I've done, I don't count reps. I, I, I don't count. I could tell you the most weight I've ever lifted on a workout, but that's about it. Um, where was I? So, 
Oh, right. We dropped a thousand calories. I'm still eating almost 3,500 a day, right? So I'm not hurting. Uh, 40 minutes of walking in the morning. Let's be real, guys. Like, this is not that serious, but I'm excited about it because it's a sign that's going to get serious, right? Especially once we get to eight weeks out of the North Americans, and I think it'll be pretty intense. Uh, I think that about wraps it up. We're coming up on 10 minutes. I'm going to try and keep them about 10 minutes every day. Uh, please do keep the questions coming. I mentioned all this stuff before. Uh, if you guys have ideas for promos you'd like to see today, leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to make those happen. Till next time, think strong, train hard, and thank you for watching.